Under ideal conditions, the Razor HD 4000 can range large reflective objects out to 4,000 yards and deer size game out to 2,000 yards. The scan feature can be used to range moving targets or to range smaller targets on uniform background and works in both ranging and target modes. Once powered up, press and hold the measure button and scan across the target, watching for changes in the distance as the aiming circle moves across the target. The illuminated scan icon will blink as you pan. Releasing the measure button will return the laser to the power up condition. For best results, use a tripod when ranging, when ranging targets past 1000 yards. The Razer HD 4000 provides two range modes, HCD, which is Horizontal Component Distance, and Line of Sight, LOS. Both modes offer scan features. HCD, or Horizontal Component Distance, is the corrected shot angle and needs no extra user input. Shooters should use the appropriate elevation and wind adjustment for the range displayed and shoot. Line of sight mode is for shooters using slope correcting, ballistic drop data cards, ballistic apps or other ballistic devices and who are shooting at distances beyond 500 yards with slope angles greater than 15 degrees. The range number is displayed in the line of sight mode is the actual line of sight range with no ballistic correction for slope. Most ballistic devices can provide independent slope correction for bullet drop data and require actual line of sight range input. Using line of sight mode when calculating bullet wind drifts with steep slopes, long range conditions, will provide a higher degree of accuracy than using HCD range. When in line of sight mode, the range finder displays the slope incline in degrees above the yardage number. Okay, so I'm out on Exmoor at the moment and I bought the HD 4000 laser rangefinder with me um, and I just wanted to try out a few of the modes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of talk through what I'm doing um, and then what I'll try and do is I'll try and show you what I'm seeing as well through the lens. So it's going to be a little bit tricky but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so powering on the unit you just press the measure button and what that will give you in the display is you'll get the reticule you'll get the meters or yards and you'll, then you'll get the mode. So in this case, I've left it on HCD mode as before. Um, I've also switched to meters, uh, just uh, obviously for those of you who are running uh, MRAD. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping a target uh, just down the bottom of the hill um, and then I will let you know what distance it comes up with inside the display. Okay, so looking through the device now, press the measure button laser target so that's 1382 meters in HCD so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode so press and hold the menu button then so and then change press the measure button to change it from HCD to line of sight and then press and hold the measure button wrong the menu button again there you go so that then shows me that it's a minus eight at one, three, nine, eight meters. The Razor HD provides four target modes. It's got normal mode, first mode, last mode, and extended laser range mode. So normal mode is a standard mode that provides the range of the target with the strongest range result. Normal mode is recommended target mode for most situations. First mode locks in and displays the closest distance when panning and scanning the unit and it's ideal for smaller targets in front of other larger more reflective targets. Last mode locks in and displays the farthest distance when panning and scanning. This mode is ideal for arranging specific targets behind a group of object, objects like a bush or trees. So setting and using target modes. When in the ready condition, you can cycle between target modes by pressing and releasing the menu button here. Okay, so here you go. You can see what I'm looking at. Uh, actually, wonderful scenery, love it. Um, so what I try and do is I'll try and hold the rangefinder up into my phone just so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, what I want to do now is show you how to change the ranging modes. So power the device on by pressing measure and then press the menu button so there you go so now we're in first you press it again and it says last press it again 
you get ELR, which is extreme long range. So press it again and then it disappears and that means you're in normal. Once the target mode is selected, press the measure button to activate that target mode. Continue to hold the measure button while ranging in first, last or ELR modes. Power up the device by pressing the measure button. Aim the reticule in the background and our target is going to be the tree in the foreground. So press and hold the measure button, pan across, you see first is flashing. Release the button and it lock, it's locked in the range at 189.9 meters. So this time we're in last mode, so press the measure button to activate the range finder. What I will do is I'm going to range the trees in the background there where the reticule is now, uh, but I'm going to start scanning from the foreground. So press and hold the measure button, scan up to the tree line, and then scan back, release the measure button, and it says 382 meters to the tree line. Okay, so there might be situations where your target is through a bush or through some kind of vegetation. So in this case, you can see the tree in the background. So I'm going to range that tree uh, using last mode. So powering on the unit, then press and hold measure. There you go, so that gives me the range of the tree, 132.9 yards. When you're using the extended long range mode, it may take up to 20 seconds to acquire the target, depending on the size of the target, distance to the target, reflectivity of the target, and the environmental conditions. ELR mode works much the same as normal mode, so power on the device, pressing the measure button, aim the reticule at your target, press the measure button again, and it will return the distance. In this case, the gable end of the barn, 1,084 yards. Okay, so what I wanted to do is, uh, I just wanted to see how far I could uh, get a uh, get a reading off of the laser range finder, uh, just using my hands only, so without a tripod. Um, what I did is I arranged there you go, just there above my finger, there's a little a white house. Um, so I'm just going to try and get a reading off of that. Okay, so that's returning a distance of 2,050 metres. Uh, this is a pretty good bit of kit, really impressed actually. Yeah, really impressed. Laser range finders work by determining the amount of time taken for a brief pulse of light to emit and return back to the laser's internal receiver. Ranging can be affected by many things, mostly relating to the target objects. Light colours and solid objects will usually reflect better than dark colours and bushes. Snow, rain, fog, position of sun and ranging over water may affect ranging. Shiny, reflective surfaces usually reflect better than dull, textured surfaces. Animal hair will not reflect as well as a hard surface. If you're having difficulty ranging an animal or object, try ranging a different object nearby. Use the scan feature to pan back and forth while watching for changes in the range number, or switch to ELR mode.